What's all this, you might be asking? Well, I tell you what, stick with me. We'll jump into this together and I'll explain. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share a bit of the build of this with you guys. What is this? This is an Orter 20 watt laser unit that I'm going to build. So I have the 15 watt. I've had it for a while. I've really enjoyed it. So I decided to try out the 20 watt version. So pretty much uh, this setup is the same physically as the 15 watt except it's over there got a 20 watt laser. It is a little bit different. What am I talking about? Well, one of the things with the 20 watt laser, it now has the slide on the back so you can move it up and down because it does come with a fixed focus lens that doesn't screw. It actually supposedly slides, but it's uh, designed to be fixed focus. So what you do is instead of adjusting the lens down here, turning it, you slide it up and down by releasing the screw and sliding it on this. So the idea is, since it's a fixed focus, is you use this metal slug here, this piece of aluminum, to set the height to the object and then again just slide this down. So I'm going to do some playing with this. Now it basically is very similar to the 15 watt. Here's the 15 watt that I had. One of the big differences that you'll notice is the driver. It has a much more substantial driver than the 15 watt. So I don't know if it's got the same diode in here and a bigger driver or a bigger diode and driver. So we'll have to see as we play along with this. So let's go ahead, let's assemble this unit. And I'm going to take you through a bit of the highlights of assembly of this. It is pretty simple and straightforward. So if you're used to building, you know, even simple kits, you should have an easy time with this. Far easier than a 3D printer or a CNC machine. So let's jump into this. So I've got the frame laid out. The long sections go to the sides. This is what the gantry will roll upon. The front sections, again, are the braces. And I've used the L brackets in here. Now I have these set in the longer links. These are keyed so they only go in a certain way. And then what happens is what we do is we use these longer screws to go in the ends here to pin this. Now before we do all this and assemble this, what we have to do is take some of these T-nuts and slide them in on this back side because what we'll do is we'll end up using these for the mounting feet. So these are going to go to the outside, so I'm going to do two like that and then I'm going to take two and I'm going to put them in the back side such as this and then what I'm going to do is put this back and I'm going to slide these into the L brackets and then tighten up the screw. So I won't bore you with that detail. So I'll put this back together and then we'll go ahead and put the gantry on. So what we're going to do next is we're going to thread on the gantry. You'll notice it has three wheels. And then what we'll do is kind of thread this on by angling this up and then rolling it back. And then you see how I've now have this threaded on here and we now have the gantry. Now we're going to have to do some adjustments to the gantry. We'll come back to that at a later uh, piece in the build but now we have this piece on so let's go ahead with our assembly from here. Okay so the next phase is we're going to install the belts and the, the feet on the back. Now one of the things to notice is we have a, a foot section down here so this is obviously the bottom and we also have a belt section here and this will go towards this rail and so what we want to do is we want to take this and we want to thread this up and what I'll do is I'll thread this up and around then I'll kind of give you a close-up shot okay so we have the belt spun through here over top of this sprocket and the same over here and one of the pieces that we have is that it's about equidistance on both sides uh, front and back so now what we're going to do is actually thread this through on the back side we're going to put the two of these on there and then we're going to bolt these in and then I'll come back and I'll show you how it all comes together okay so I've assembled both feet notice a washer goes on here to actually tighten up against this belt on both sides but a washer doesn't go on these now keep in mind, remember at the early on section where we assembled the frame, we put in a couple T-nuts. 
the T nuts will actually be used for these uh, inner bolts. So let's go ahead and move to the next step. Okay, on the front side we installed the leg which works just like the back. Now as you do this, you'll have to pull this a little bit tight. You know, you want it taunt, not super tight. You know, so there's a little bit of give here, but not a lot. If you get it too tight, there'll be too much pull on this and you could have some problems. So again, just snug it up. Over here, the belt is actually cinched by the end stop. And what you do is loop this up through this plastic piece. And again, the screw holds it tight and a T-nut goes in here. Uh, again, then this is going to adjust where the uh, gantry is actually going to stop at. Now, this again, you need to have it a bit taut. And again, as you can see here, I can push on it a little bit, not much. So this is pretty much all set up. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the face plate on. Basically how the face plate goes is one hole which will go in here, then the other which will go into this other captive T-nut that we have here. So let's go ahead and get that together and see how it works. Okay, I've installed the front uh, controller here, the faceplate and controller. So we have the power, we have the USB, and this is a little bit different from my 15 watt. It's got another little port here. I wonder if this isn't for the roller. I actually have a roller for this and I'll be doing another video on that. So I'm assuming that's where it plugs into. Obviously reset and power here. Now the uh, switch, the limit switch plugs in the middle over here. So you can see that. Now one of the things that it's, you're going to be kind of determined upon the length of these wires as to where you locate this. And you might have to do some adjustment uh, for this as it comes back because your laser is going to be in here and it does come very close to this bar so you might have to do some adjusting this is why you don't want to trim these pieces off until you're all done and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the um, X gantry motor on here now the way that this goes on is this will slip in here I believe there's an orientation to this I'll double check and put uh, a note in there I think it wants you to put the connector up but basically, long story short, is you just kind of loop this over and then put in your M3. So I'll go ahead and do that and double check the configuration on this. And we'll come back and we'll see it when it's done. Okay, the X motor has been installed. Uh, they're basically just four M3s with Phillips heads that go in here. The instructions do indicate an upward orientation. I believe that's to prevent the drag from going onto the table or the drag cable. Uh, I did have to tighten up the belt a little bit. Again, much like the ones on the Y, you want it to be just a little bit snug. So there's a little bit of inward force here, but not much. And again, you can see how smooth this rolls. There are eccentrics on here, but uh, they're pretty well adjusted, so I'm not going to worry about it. So the next piece we have to do is jump into setting up our laser on this. So let's go to that section. Okay, so we're at the fun part now. We're going to mount the laser. So you have this bracket for mounting the laser. It comes covered with these protective pieces. You remove it so you have it like that. Now the instructions indicate that you use two M3s to attach this piece of the bracket to here, which we're going to do. And then what happens is you, you use these acorn nuts then to mount the bracket onto here like that and then obviously once the laser is mounted such as this again you're good to go and they give you a obligatory wrench to tighten up the acorn nuts now one of the things that I want to mention is early on I talked a little bit about the laser this had this does not screw to focus this actually pulls in and out and then again I've got the slug off to the side the idea is is you put that slug at the focal distance and then you lower this down using this piece or apparently you can adjust it by pulling it in or out. I thought that's kind of nifty. Now how do you change this lens? I really don't know. There is a barrel in here with a lens so I don't know if you could unscrew this and screw another barrel in here or not. Uh, that'll be for a future project but uh, anyways just want to show you that, uh, that it pulls in and out. So. Let's go ahead. I'm going to finish up the assembly with this piece and then we'll move on to the wiring. So I'm going to get this together. We're going to come back and take a look at it. Okay, I've mounted the laser. Again, two M3s from the back side. Bottom holes of this plate. Four acorn nuts. Now the one thing I had to do is remove this to 
get into this uh, acorn nut down here a little bit easier. But now everything's together. Now the only thing we have to do is go ahead and hook up our wires and basically we'll be done. Now this is somewhat straightforward again because the connectors up here to the control unit are rather unique. It's not in the typical uh, NEMA fashion. So you have the controllers for the laser here and then you have the motor controllers here. And then what this does is this then goes to uh, connections over back on this side and then this one runs back over here to the motor. This top one goes to the motor and then this three wire one goes to the laser. So let me go ahead hook this all up and you'll kind of see how it goes together. Okay, so we got all this assembled. As I mentioned, I'll do some overlays. I've connected up the connectors to the control box over here, to the motors and the PCB board over here, then back over to this motor and the laser. This is all pretty straightforward. Again, I will have done overlays for you, but uh, again, uh, pretty much all this is labeled, so you get the Y label here. I don't see one on the X motor. Maybe it's up in the cable. Yeah, it's right here. So X, so you, you can see how that goes together, and then obviously the three on the laser. So now this is basically assembled. All that you have to do is plug it in, connect to USB, and uh, use a light burn or a laser gerbil, and you're ready to go. So I'm pretty excited to get this into action. Now, one of the pieces is I've mentioned when I did the 15 watt build, I've come up with some 3D designs for uh, cable connectors to go on here. I am going to do uh, those updates for it in the very near future. Um, so if you got one of these and you got a 3D printer, definitely go out to the design store. I'll have the links to those down below so you can get those and again, kind of uh, tidy up the cabling even more. Now on my 15 watt, I am going to be doing some major modifications and putting cable ch uh, chains on there. So I might do that in the future with this. I don't know if I, I will or not, maybe. I am going to add the air assist to this unit uh, that I came up with for the G8 uh, lens. Well, actually the G2 lens, the adaptable version I'm gonna put on here. So I'll have air assist, but I'm really excited. Um, next video, we'll unbox and take a look at the rollers and see what that's all about. So hopefully you found it interesting. I'll have a link to this guy below. I'm really excited. I think this 20 watt will really up my workflow and I'm excited to get to use it. So if you get any questions about this or the ortho line at all, hit me up in the comments below. I'll have a link to this down below too if you're interested in purchasing one of these. Hey, hit the like button, subscribe over there, swag shop up there, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe.